Hey guys, I'm Brett. There's some really cool and exciting new accessories for the Weeble S. We're gonna take a look at the new image transmission receiver, the motion sensor remote controller, and the new multifunctional extension plate. Then we'll set each of them up and dive into using them. Special thanks to Zeon for sponsoring this video. The Weeble S is already packed to the brim with some awesome features, and each of the bundles come with some powerful extras like the zoom and focus motor or the new image transmitter. These three new accessories take things even further for Weeble S. Let's start with the receiver. The image transmission receiver works with the image transmitter to deliver a low latency wireless HD video feed to any HDMI source, like an external monitor. Inside the box, we get the receiver, a mounting plate, a cold shoe mount with a quarter inch screw, an HDMI mini to HDMI cable, and a micro USB cable. The receiver has a built-in rechargeable battery that will last about an hour and a half on its own. When it's used with the new remote controller, the controller will power the receiver for up to five hours of total runtime, but we'll get more into that in a bit. Before every use, be sure to fully charge the receiver. Just plug it into any micro USB source. This blue indicator light will turn off when it's done. Now the receiver has to be used with the new image transmitter. To get started, First, we have to pair the receiver to the transmitter. Take the Micro002 cable and connect it to both the receiver and the transmitter. Press and hold the power button on both devices to power them on. Once powered on, click the receiver's power button five times to pair the two devices together. You'll know it's paired when the green light on the transmitter stays solid. After the initial pairing, the two automatically pair anytime you power both of them on. Pretty cool. Now let's install the receiver. We have two different mounting options, the mounting plate or a cold shoe. With the mounting plate, we can mount it onto any quarter 20 thread we have, whether it's our monitor, a cage, or the base plate that comes with the remote controller. To install it, find a quarter 20 thread and simply screw in the plate. The receiver can now slide in and lock into place. The other option for installing is the cold shoe attachment. You just screw in the attachment, but don't tighten it all the way just yet. Insert it into a cold shoe and then finish tightening it to secure the mount. Once you're all done mounting, just slide in the receiver until it clicks in place. Then rotate the antennas so they're facing upright. After that, connect the HDMI cable to both the receiver and your monitor. We're almost ready to start using it, but there are a few more things to go over. First, power on the unit by holding the button for three seconds. These lights give you some important information. When the blue light is on, the unit is charging. When it's off, it's done. When this green light is on and solid, it means Wi-Fi is on and ready. When it blinks slowly, Wi-Fi isn't ready yet. When it's blinking fast, it means it's pairing. It will also blink three times when it's powering down. This red light will shine solid when there's no HDMI signal. When an HDMI connection is working, it will turn off. The light will also blink slowly when the battery level is below 20%, at which point you should recharge. Now, let's power this thing on and try it out. First, power on your Weeble S, your camera, and your transmitter. By the way, if you want to know how to set up and use the new image transmitter, check out our other tutorial videos. After that's all powered on, turn on the receiver and your external monitor. Once everything is connected and the green light is solid, it might look like things aren't working, but they are. The video feed just needs to be turned on. Just double press the power button on the receiver to start the video feed. You can double press again to deactivate the video feed while keeping everything powered on and ready. Awesome! Now we can wirelessly view our video stream up to 100 meters away. This is perfect on set where you have a separate camera operator and a director viewing the footage, or if you simply wish to set your camera up to record, but you need the freedom to move around while monitoring your footage. What's really awesome is that even though we're connected to a monitor, we can actually connect to up to three total devices at the same time. And to top it off, we can select from eight different wireless channels to achieve the best connection possible. 
How cool is that? Now, occasionally, there may be firmware updates that improve the performance of the receiver. Be sure to subscribe to the channel because in a future video, we'll go over how to upgrade the firmware for the Weeble S, the transmitter, the receiver, and the motion sensor remote controller. Speaking of the motion sensor remote controller, it's a new tool that not only provides additional power to the receiver, but will allow you to control your gimbal and camera. Its motion sensing technology make it incredibly intuitive to control your footage. Let's take a look at everything we get. We get the remote controller, an extension plate, a micro 002 cable, and a micro USB cable. Be sure to fully charge the remote before each use. Now, before we check out everything that this bad boy can do, let's get everything set up properly. First, slide the controller into the extension plate until this red safety lock engages. Then, tighten the thumb screw on the bottom. Next, install your monitor on the plate and tighten it down. After that, we'll need to find a place to mount our receiver. Since my monitor doesn't have a cold shoe or a quarter inch thread available, I'll just mount it onto the frame of the extension plate, which has several mounting points. Once that's mounted, connect the receiver to the controller using the Micro002 cable. Now let's power everything on. Power on your Weeble S, your camera, and your transmitter. And lastly, just double press the power button on the receiver to start the video feed. Awesome. We can see that we have a crystal clear and lag free video feed. Let's look at how the remote can control everything. A lot of the remote is going to be very familiar as it's modeled after the controls on Weeble S. On the front, we have a display that shows the battery life of the remote, the shooting mode, and it even lists the camera controls. Since we're shooting on Sony, we can control zoom using the left and right buttons on the jog dial. The joystick allows us to control the motion of Weeble S, and we can start recordings using this button. On the left hand side, we have a button for recentering our gimbal. Here, we have a mode button. Pressing once will cycle between pan follow, lock, and follow mode. Double pressing will cycle between go mode, POV mode, and vortex mode. Long press this button to enter and exit standby mode. On the back side, we have a zoom rocker switch. For cameras that support electronic zoom control, we can use this rocker to control zoom without the need for a motor. This scrolling wheel here can be used to control the zoom and focus motor attachment found in the Weeble S bundles. On the right hand side, we have a power button, but right below it, we have a switch for the motion sensor control, which of course is the hallmark feature for this remote. Sliding this switch from off to on puts the Weeble S into lock mode and recenters its position to face forward. Now, as you pan and tilt your setup, the Weeble S will follow you. This is an incredibly intuitive way to control your footage. Simply point where you want to shoot and Weeble S will follow. Now, a few things to note. The roll axis is off by default. We can change this in the menu, but we'll go over that in just a moment. Also, when you turn on the switch, the remote controller will use the position and angle you're holding it as your zero point or home point. All of your movement will be based around this home point. For the best results, before you turn the switch on, face your setup in the same forward direction as your Weeble S and hold your setup in a comfortable manner. Then activate the switch. This way, you and the Weeble S will always be pointing in the same direction. That's pretty dang cool and really useful. Now we can tweak some of the motion settings as well as our other controls right on the remote. You just press down to enter the menu. Now we've covered a lot of these menu functions in previous videos, so we're gonna focus on what's new. The first tab controls the motion sensor. Speed adjusts how fast the Weeble S mimics our movement on each axis. The roll axis is off by default, so we can turn it up if we want to use it. Going back, smooth is how long it takes for Weeble S to reach full speed. Turn smoothness up to make your pans and tilts very fluid. Back on the main menu page, Advanced allows us to fine tune how the Weeble S moves. This is the same as the Advanced tab directly on the gimbal itself, which we covered in a previous tutorial video. 
the wheel page behaves the same as the wheel on the gimbal as well. Here we can adjust sensitivity, set A and B points for our motor, and more. Joystick allows us to reverse the directions for joystick movement. Rocker is just like the wheel page and all of the adjustments we can make are the same. Angle allows us to offset the tilt or roll axis in case our camera isn't sitting perfectly level. We can enter calibration mode for the gimbal here. And then there's the upgrade option, which is the mode we'll select when we need to upgrade the firmware for the remote controller. Stay tuned and subscribe because in future videos, we'll go over how to upgrade the firmware on all of these devices and how to calibrate your gimbal. So now let's take a look at one last accessory, the multifunctional extension plate. The multifunctional extension plate attaches to the side of the tilt motor on Weeble S and provides a way to attach things like counterweights, lights, shotgun microphones, or even action cameras like a GoPro. We're going to mount a shotgun mic today and see why this thing is an absolute must-have accessory. So in the box, we have the extension plate, mounting screws with an Allen wrench, three thumb screws, and the extension base. Let's get this thing installed on our Weeble S. First, we'll need our Allen wrench, the screws, and the small extension base. Start by unscrewing and removing the stopping plate found on the bottom of the tilt arm. Put it somewhere safe in case you need it later. Next, we'll screw in the extension base in the same place, and that's it. After that, we can just slide in the end of the extension plate and tighten the thumb screw to secure it. On the plate, we have several quarter 20 mounting points, a cold shoe mount, as well as a rubberized grip mount on this side. To use this grip mount, you can just flip over the extension plate and retighten. With all these mounting points, we can attach a wide variety of equipment. Let's attach our Rode Shotgun microphone. We'll just slide it into the cold shoe and tighten it. After setting everything up, we'll need to rebalance our gimbal before we're ready to start shooting. Now what makes this extension plate such a game changer, especially for things like microphones, is that the microphone will always be pointing directly at your subject, no matter what camera angle we choose. And because it's mounted on the side, we still have the full range of motion of our gimbal. And that is just too dang awesome to me. Hit that like button below if you guys are digging this thing as much as I am. And that's it. A collection of new accessories for Weeble S that give it an unmatched versatility. If you guys have any comments or questions, let me know in the comments down below. And if you haven't, check out our other tutorial videos for more about Weeble S. And also, be sure to subscribe to the channel because we got more vids coming, like upgrading the firmware on these devices and calibrating Weeble S. Thank you guys for watching. Until the next one, I'll see ya.